welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. And let me see something here. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, ready to go. Just some technical stuff on the screen. Okay, blog talk is down again today, and that's not a big deal. We can use my business number for call-ins, and then we can uh, just take questions off of YouTube. So we're going to do that. Please don't get scammed if anybody reaches out to you saying they are me, they are not. I don't ever reach out to anybody. Another thing, a lot of people try to connect with me on um, like messages on social media, whatever it's called, direct messages or um, messenger or any social media where you can send a private message. I ain't in it. I'm not doing it, not opening it, not looking at it, not on Instagram, not on TikTok, not on Facebook, not on any of them. I, I have plenty of ways for people to connect with me if they would like a reading or for business purposes. I'm not on social media for private purposes. So if you want to connect, you can call my business number or you can go to my website. Or how about this? How about if you leave those pics in a comment below my picture? or not my picture, between my posts. Mm -hmm. That's exactly why I'm not on, don't, don't, I don't do the messenger. And you're not a prince and you're not from another country and you don't have a million dollars you want to give me. So just all of you stop now <laughs> between the prince. <laughs> this is the one that gets me the most. This is the one that kills me. I need a sugar baby. There are sites full of people looking for sugar babies. There is no shortage of sugar babies. <laughs> so no, I don't do messages. So please don't try to contact me that way. Use my um, business number 414-897-2869 or just shimmy right on into my website. All of the information is there on anything that you would want to, um, anything uh, you would want to have a service for. Okay, I'm gonna get started with the show and because blog talk is down, oh, my ears. Whew, I am going to tell you, I have a, like 24 seven, like ringing whatever in my ears, but when I start the show, it goes to all these different pitches and sometimes it goes in one ear and comes out the other it's um it's interesting and it's been heightened lately and i know so many of my of of you and so many other people have been um hearing this also and there's a couple different theories on ringing in the ears and i'm i'm open to all of them i am open to all of them okay uh don't forget uh this saturday starts the self journey which is six Saturdays of healing self-esteem, self-worth, self-confidence, self-respect, self-love, and one other self. It's listed in the uh, description on my website. Um, so if you're interested in that, go ahead to my site and take a look at that. Even if you can't make it at the scheduled time for the live um uh, session, you'll have the link so you can uh, play it later and then also listen to it again and again and again. It is a guided hypnosis uh, meditation type of healing and it is extremely effective. We go into the subconscious part of the mind and we heal your self-respect, self-worth, self-confidence, releasing all that caused any um, uh, problems in that area, and then bring in reinforcements for it. Alrighty, I'm gonna start with um, 
names today. I'm being told to start with names today. So the name could be your name. It could be a loved one's name. It could be a pet's name. It could be some place you went, something you did. Oh, that's weird. I've never said that before. Um, and it could be um, your, yeah, your loved one up above's name. So we're going to get started it, with that. I'm going to um, start uh, with the names. Melissa is a first name. Here we go. Roger. Mikhail. Jennifer. London. Michael. Or Mike. Bobby. Jeff or Jeffrey. June. And then I hear Juniper. So that might be two separate people or it could be the same person. Um, I'm going to try to say this very quickly because I'm not sure I can even say it at all. Michaleta. <laughs> okay. Anything that sounds like that is probably the right name because we know I cannot... I have a little bit of problems with some of the names. Um, Henry, Iris, I hear June again. And again, June can be the name, it can be a month. Um, we're not on songs yet, but I hear that song. Um, that song, uh, now that she's back from the <clears throat> atmosphere with songs of Jupiter in her. Oh, I can hear the words, but um, plain old Jane Doe. Tell me, did you? <sighs> I know Patrick's going to know that song. Go ahead, Patrick. Um. Okay, names, names, any other names? Sheila, Shelly. Um, Missy. And then I'm hearing Morningstar, whatever that means. Um, Lila and Liliana. Lila. Two more names and then I'm going to move on to songs. Justin, one more name, and uh, you know what, as I'm going to tell you, I never hear, never, ever, ever hear uh, sirens, sirens in my uh, neighborhood. I know that's not how that word's pronounced. There are still a few words from my concussion that I'm not pronouncing correctly. Apparently, that is one of them. So this name is going to mean something because that is crazy. I never, ever hear them in this in this area. OK, so then, OK, so what's the name? Why, why all the buildup? Abigail. OK. So that's what we have for that. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go to songs and then I am going to talk a little bit about businesses and then I'm going to channel. Since I can't take colors today and I really, that makes me so sad. I know I'm going to take a couple on my phone, but it really does make me sad when I can't take colors um, because when you have someone on the phone, it's a different type of connection than answering the questions um, on YouTube. I love it both, but it's just, it's a little different. Oh, my hair is, I look like a, I look like a ragamuffin. What's going on there? Okay, songs. Now, remember, the song could be answering the question. If you've been asking yourself a question, the song, the lyrics in the song could be answering a question. If, uh, 
It could be a song a loved one love and or it could be a song that you it's a confirmation or um, a sign from somebody above or a, the answer to a question. And the first song is La Isla Bonita. Remember, folks, I know I can't sing. We don't need to remind me I can't sing. <laughs> Never in a moment of my life, probably not even as a baby, did I ever think I could sing. It's a it's it's a well known fact within every ounce of me that I cannot sing. So you don't need to tell me, not in an email, not in a text, not in a comment on any of my social media. You're not informing me of something the whole world don't already know. <laughs> I don't know where that is coming. <laughs> that little hokey voice is hokey doke. <laughs> where the heck is that coming from? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, sarcasm is at an all time high today. Just be aware of that with everything that comes through. Okay. The next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get it together, girl. Get it together. Okay. Oh, I feel my face and my cheeks are getting so hot from, from like, from this. Okay. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it together and give you songs. I promise you I will. Okay. Okay, Whew. they say if you laugh really hard, you're going to cry. Or if you cried really hard, you're going to laugh. So this makes perfect sense to me. Okay, the first um, the first song, well, La Isla, La Isla. I can't even say it sexy, let alone try to sing it. La Isla Bonita <laughs> is the first song. The next song is um, that song, Jesse is a friend of mine something think it over um i like my girls a little bit older as you should you pervert as you should i just want to feel your love tonight that's a song <laughs> leave the little girls alone all your pervs all you full full grown men looking at little babies Stop it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you full grown men need a full grown woman <laughs> that can challenge your emotional state. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, today, you guys, I am apologizing in advance for my feral behavior. <laughs> Okay, okay. And the cat's in the cradle and the silver spoon. Little boy blue and the man on the moon. When you're coming home that I don't know when. But we'll get together then. That's the next song. Thank you, Spirit. Just jump in, please. Um, sitting on the dock of the bay. I want to say watching the tides roll away. And then the... The next song is, is that Drift Away? Because then I'm hearing the song Drift Away. Um, Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. There it is. There it is. See? See there it is. Um, the next song is um, that song that starts out, it goes, Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I think it goes, Why? And then it goes, ooh, ooh. how does that start a song? And the craziest thing, I'm not hearing any words to that song. No words, just, and then, ooh, ooh. oh, gosh. And the next song, boy, they are going from a here to there to there. Well, because all the songs are just coming from different, you know, uh, loved ones. Okay, the next song is 
let the body sit the flow. I can't even sing. I'm just trying to compose myself. I'm not laughing. At, well, I can't sing, but you guys know what I mean. <sighs> let the body sit the flow. Let the body sit the flow. Let the body sit the flow. <laughs> no, that's not how it goes. <laughs> And then the next song is that song that goes, um, if you want to ride with me. Oh, uh, I can't think of the, I, I hear the words, but I can't say them. Well, if you know, you know, that's if just with those words, you know, that's the next song. Um, the next song is, um, I'm going to do two more songs and then we're going to, we're going to be done with that because that's just, it's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot going on in this, up in this joint this morning. Okay. Um, the next song is, um, it, it I hear, take me away. Oh, no, oh, seriously. I, oh my gosh, I don't. It's it's such an old, 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 old song. Like, I know my mom knew the song. It, uh, when I was young and dun da dun and dun da dun da dun da dun It's like this song talking about going to the, like, the funny farm. I think. When I was young and dun da dun, dun uh, the dun -da duns are not the words, obviously, folks. Obviously. But whoever knows that song, you know that's for you. Whoever knows that... Oh, Jesus, give me more words. Sweet baby Jesus, come give me the words. I can, like, barely hear... Like, I, I'm getting the knowing of it, like, but not... Not the main verse. If anybody knows that, please put it in the chat. Patrick, you've got to know that one. I just feel like you're going to know that one too. Um, they're coming to take me away. Ha ha, he he, ho ho. Is that, the, is that it? Somebody tell me that's the, the song. All righty then. All righty, friend. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you guys think I sit and think about these songs and like, oh, I'm going to do no. <laughs> uh, and then the next song and the last song is, what's up, pussycat? Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> it doesn't go like that. Meow. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what I'm doing at this moment. Um, what's up, pussycat? Meow, meow, meow. That's that song. I don't even, I can't even hear any other words from that song, but that's the song. Okay. And then I'm just going to throw in this song is from me because I just love this song. Gotta loosen up my buttons, babe. I love that song. I love that song. All righty, we're going to get started now um, with channeling. Okay, first, I'm going to say, you guys, listen. Listen up, buttercup. It's time to go to start the show. Um, that is not a song. That is just some, some nonsense I'm trying to sing. Okay, listen, you guys, I always say this, and I mean this with my whole soul. If you have not started something on the side yet, and you're wanting to start something on the side, I'm going to tell you when I am watching things, when I'm, you know, scrolling and watching videos and so on and so forth, <clears throat> The way people can take things and turn them into a business, I love it. So this whole charcuterie board thing is reached new levels. So first, we just had these charcuterie boards that turned into charcuterie glasses that turned into charcuterie everything. Charcuterie. Now, the businesses that have come from the charcuterie, and if I'm saying that word, 
wrong. I apologize. Some of the businesses are charcuterie to go. You can go pick up your whole charcuterie thing to go. People coming into your home and putting your charcuterie table together. All this from lunch, meat, and cheese. Okay, but wait, it gets better. Somebody who took a little cart and started charcuterie in the park with olives and pickles and those little peppery things and the charcuterie of charcuterie in a cart in the park. It gets, oh, wait, we're not done there. This is all charcuterie. Charcuterie, ah. Uh, um in the park then people who are teaching people to make charcuterie boxes you can take a charcuterie class <laughs> when i say you can start your own side thing a dang you take what's there and you build your way about it i am not joking that is why we are here to create to co-create, to recreate. But I'm not done with the charcuterie end of it. I am not done with the charcuterie end of it. Now people are literally starting, like you know how you can start a mobile bartending business, which by the way, if you've not started that and you want to, that, that is money on, that is money on money on money on money. I'm just saying. If you want something to do on the weekends and socialize, start a mobile bartending business. Just build yourself or get a some sort of bartending bar bar and go do it. Okay. But now people are starting mobile charcuterie. So if you want, if you're having like a baby shower or a whatever, uh, you can have your charcuterie table and you show up to people's events. So th this is the point. This is charcuterie, okay? It, it had a moment and the moment is living on through all the businesses, salami on a table, salami on a wooden board has created. Seriously. Think about that with every business, a breakfast bar, a, a, a coffee bar, a, a, a mobile, take it. And I've said this so many times, create something you can take to people. Let it be at people's places, whether it's the mobile bar, the charcuterie, the, the coffee, an exotic coffee, a uh, bar for after dinner at people's parties. Um, whether you, if you're doing nails and hair service at their place, there is, there are so many opportunities for business that is mobile now. People want pure convenience, just pure convenience. Can you be the person of convenience? Not in a relationship though. Mm, no. We're done being the person of convenience in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But for a business, it's perfect. If you can be the person that can do it on the spot or show up at their party or show up, you know, at that location where they are, that is that is where things are going that's the direction it is going and having a standalone storefront can be so expensive even it, 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 this just in to have a mobile clothes boutique if you know someone who makes clothes or you order in bulk from some place like um one of those uh, there's a lot of like Alibaba and stuff like that, a lot of different places online where you can order in bulk and <clears throat> set up a, a, a mobile clothing thing where you go from place area to area and you just pop up 
your clothing boutique. Now, in the past, that may not have worked. Why? Social media didn't exist the way it does today. But here we are in the age of social media. If you want to do a go pick up people's donations and do a reselling pop up clothes thing. God, I have so many clothes from my from the show that like I just, you know, get them for recording my show. I could I could do a whole <laughs> a whole thing myself. But the point is, the point is, here's the point. Even if you like are, are whatever you do, you can you can have your pop-up clothing boutique or shop and then also have it and you don't you can just do a tent in a park or you can do wherever you want to do it okay well however you want to do it um but if you're an artist you can do galleries at people's homes go into their home and ask them to do a, a an art party where you take down one room the pictures on their wall and you put up your art and then everybody's having wine or beverages so pop-up bar right there see two two businesses with a pop-up charcuterie board the three of you can all work together <laughs> and have this party and there you go okay that i'm gonna end it on that note i'm just gonna stop it there <laughs> We're moving on with the show now. We're going to move on with the show now. This is what happens when blog talk is not open. That's all I'm saying. This is all blog talk's fault. Okay, dokie. Um, that is not a shake. That is a smoothie. Although it tastes like a shake. It's so yummy. Okay. We are going to go into, should I go into questions? Should I do channeling? I'll do channeling in a little bit. Um, Karen wants to know, will my son realize he needs to take care of his health? Uh, yes, uh, but oftentimes, especially with men, that comes a little late. Um, Karen, can you do me a favor? Can you just tell me how old is your son? I'm hearing a couple of different ages for him. And I want to make sure I have the right age or what age, you know, why I'm hearing the age I am. Um, how old is your son right now? I feel like there's going to come a point where something kind of dramatic or drastic might happen. And then he's going to think, oh, I really have to do this. But it might feel overbearing to him, like too much for him. I'm hearing that age. Like I keep hearing 58, 58, 58. So I feel like if he's not 58, at the age of 58, it is going to be very serious and he'll have to take actions. Um, or something did happen at 58 that is is causing that. So that's just, Karen, that's what I have for that. I hope that's helpful. And I'm sorry that he's not taking care of himself. You know, it's we live in such a crazy world where, um, the, taking care of ourselves or being in that place where, you know, we are putting that first is not even a thought to most people, which is just so crazy to me. It's just, oh yeah, yeah. And, and people don't really think about it because they think there's a medication that can fix everything, which is also interesting. Um, Okay, Elza, I don't know if I'm understanding this question correctly. My husband find his gold. His name is Hendrik. He is currently in Australia. So your husband is in Australia looking for his gold. Uh, I, is this something, Elza, is this something he lost? I need to know if this is something he lost or is he out there mining gold? I think it's something, I feel like it might be something he lost. Um, uh, 
Elsa, uh, here's what I'm going to say. He's going to find part of it. Or in part, he's going to find it. He's going to like figure out uh, missing gold. Okay. He's going to find part of it. Um, he's either going to find part of it or he's going to know where it is. I feel, I don't know if he's going to be able to retrieve it immediately. Um, it, there might be a process in him retrieving it. Will he get it all back? Some, he's going to get some back. Maybe not all of it, but some of it. I feel like the most important piece or the most something important is going to come back. The rest might not be there, love. And I'm sorry to say that. I'm sorry to say that. Um, thank you for the question. Um, and Karen said that her son is 48 and he is... Um, He's, he's developing lymphoderma, 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 lympho, I want to say lymphedemia, but it's lymphoderma is the way I think I'm supposed to say. Demo, lymphoderma. Uh, okay, I can't pronounce the word. I can see it. I can look at the way it's spelled, but apparently I cannot. Okay. Um, You know, he, people go into, uh, people, I have to re-answer Elza's question in a second, because I, 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 okay, so people go into, uh, Karen, people go into illness with denial sometimes, whatever this is at 58 is going to start to be his turnaround on it because I think it might be manageable between now and then. Um, yeah. But then he's going to realize at that point he has to be very serious about it. Okay, so Elsa said he's mining gold, which I think I misunderstood. Okay, Elsa, if he is uh, mining gold, here's what I'm going to say to you. Whatever, whether he's mining, he lost gold, whatever's going on with him, He's going to find something or get something that's very precious to him. I do feel like it's going to be a pro there's before he can take something with him, there's going to be a process. I'm not sure what this process is going to be, but I do get that there is going to be a process and it's going to be, there might be a challenge with the process, but I do feel like he's going to get something that's precious to him, whether this is something he's lost or he's mining. Either way, there's going to be something. It will be precious to him. Um, and he will be able to bring like bring it with him, but it, there will be a process to it that he might not be aware of right now. Okay? That's what I can, what I can say for that. Hey, Danny, how are you? Uh, Danny G will wants to know, will I be good at being a stylist? I instantly hear yes. It's something, I just hear the word adore. Um, so yes, instantly I hear the word yes. I feel like it's going to be very good for you. Uh, and you're going to enjoy it. Hey, Grandma Kit. Kitty, how are you? Um, hey, Kavita. Okay. Kavita wants to know, 
Can you tune in and let me know if this healer I just came across is really able to heal various conditions? Um, that's always a difficult question for me to answer, Kavita, because what heals a person is what they believe can heal them. I feel like for some he's good and for others he's not so good. Um, remember, when you are working with someone that you want to do or have do work on you, they need to be in a much higher frequency than you. And it cannot come from ego. That's what I'm getting for you, uh, Kavita. That's what I'm getting for you. No, Elizabeth, I'm sorry. I, I'm not good at that. I don't even want to try to tell you where to find something you lost. That's not um, uh, what I do. <sighs> Thank you, Sal. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sal. <laughs> Sal, you cracked me up. Um, Grandma Kitty says, hey, beautiful. Um, I'm trying to move out of AZ to New Mexico this summer. I've been trying to move for a while now. Career goals and my own place are some of my goals. Okay, you guys, when I'm reading, when I hear a question, it just absorbs and I can start responding. So when I'm reading, I read in a way where I'm trying to absorb it at the same time and be able to get the intuitive answer on it. I know some people are really, really good at that. I'm just, that just, just takes me mm, a little extra moment. So I'm going to answer this. Uh, uh, the way I'm going to pose the question is, are you going to move from Arizona to New Mexico? Absolutely, you are. Are you going to do it this summer? There's a strong possibility for you to do it in September, October. That's September, October time. I feel like in July, <clears throat> which we are in, you're going to finally decide, decide. And you guys, the way the universe works, which is you know, when we make that decision, let's say it's whether it's for a job, a relationship, family, whatever it is, when we get off the back and forth fence of it, the teeter totter, I don't know, should I, shouldn't I, when we are so definitive in our mind about it, it just, everything starts to fall in place. So let's just say there's a relationship issue and you have this person and you you still care about this person, but you are, you know it's in your best interest to go, but you still kind of want them back. The person's gonna keep being in your energy and you're gonna keep being in theirs. And then there's the, the return and then the decision. And then typically the cycle repeats and there's another ending. When you decide, decide, you cut all of that out of you and you, you just start moving on. Um, the same thing here. You are going to move. I feel like in July, what date? 18th. Oop, three baby days away, baby girl. Um, in three days, something's going to happen. And don't, it doesn't have to be catastrophic. It can just be like, you know, what, what am I, you know, uh, why am I, blah, 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 blah. It could be whatever. And you just 
you let go of that last piece. There's a last piece you're holding on to in Arizona. And in the eight, around the 18th or the 18th, you let go of that piece. And then from there, everything is smooth sailing forward. Now, if you don't let go of that, if you're still wishy-washy on it, that won't come through as quickly as if you just let it go and pew, 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 move forward. Um, I do feel like August is going to be, Grandma Kitty, August is going to be trepidatious. I don't really know. I'm not, I'm not getting what that means for you, but I, I just hear, watch your step. Don't fall for scam. So in August, if you are looking at places, um, here's what, if you're moving, especially to another state, here's what, here's what I'm going to say for grandma kitty, everybody else listening, watching, re-listening, re-watching. This will save so many people from scammers, whether you're buying or renting a place. When you are working, you see like a listing immediately go to that city and state, put in the address, go to the tax places and see whose name, the who's responsible for the taxes on that property. If those two things do not line up, it's a scam. Sam, it's a scam. It just be a scam <laughs> and report them. Um, also, the other thing you can do, especially when you're looking at properties, residences in another area, is um, to work with an agency to begin with. Don't work one-on-one -on -one with people and put boots on the ground. Grandma Kitty, the biggest thing I hear for you is put boots on the ground, drive the neighborhood at night, make sure it's what you think it is. And when you go into a property, especially Arizona, um, New Mexico, any of those areas, they're very, very, uh, some, a couple of the properties there are known to be, or I've heard rumors that people use those properties to cook in. And you don't know until you turn all the vents on, like you turn the AC and such on, and that stuff gets in the walls, like meth and such gets in the walls. So you really have to do, look at arrest records for the property itself. Go to the police thing, put in the address, and find out if anybody was ever arrested for meth for that sort of thing. I don't know why these things are coming up, but for you and anybody else, if I were moving to an area where that was known to be something that happened, I would definitely be doing all of that stuff. I'd be running the address and the neighborhood through the police department. I would be running um, who is the actual owner through um, tax records. I would be doing all of that. I know this is a little bit more than you asked for, but you know, we got, we all have to watch out for each other. There's so many scams out there. There's so many scammers out there. They're coming up with new ways every day. Could you imagine if these scammers put their mind to actually work on things, how they could like change the world for the better? What a concept the things they could do, the things they could do. Joy, let's see what Joy has to say. If you have a chance, I want to start dating. Joy, are you asking me out? I'm sorry. I know you are not. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh I know that I'm probably the only one laughing at that, but it's okay. It's okay. Are you getting anything around me for dating? <laughs> oh, Joy, I hope, I know you have a good sense of humor. <laughs> okay, Joy, um, 
I'm getting, okay, the first thing I hear is meet somebody organically. Don't do dating sites. <clears throat> you guys know that, that I'm not a fan of dating sites. And after I answer her question, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to give you all the reasons why I am not a fan of dating sites, for, especially for women. It's different for men, but especially for women. Um, enjoy, I feel like organically, I feel like I, I'm seeing a couple of different things. I'm seeing like if you're out and about, you're definitely going to meet someone organically. You're going to meet someone in the out of doors, meaning a, it, it doesn't necessarily, it could be an event, but it doesn't have to be an indoor event. Like if, for example, if it's a wedding and part of the wedding is outside or um, a, a, an event that might be outside, but it could, all, a festival is an event, a, um, like the fireworks are an event, a parade is an event. So I feel like if you are at any or some of those things, I feel like you are going to meet someone there. I also feel like an event could be even like, like if you go to a, what do they call those things? Um, an expo and the part of it is outside. I just see there's water near wherever you might meet some people, there is water. Okay, so j just keep that in mind. Okay, and here's another thing I, I just want to say. When you are out and about trying to meet someone, if you are with friends, which is okay, I think it's good to meet people when you're with a, a friend or friends, have your friends looking out for you too. Don't, it's good to be in the conversation, but also look up and around. Now, some people say, I, I went to a coffee shop by myself and I I didn't meet anyone. Or I went to a cafe by myself and I didn't meet anyone. Did you put your did you did you fold your computer? Did you take your phone and put it down? Did you? Did you just look like you were just sitting there having having a beverage? What the heck was that? <laughs> Oh my goodness, it just sounded like something, 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 something right over there. Okay, um, it's all plants though, so probably one of my vines on my plant just kind of um, moved. Um, did you did you look around, did you, or did you look like you were working or deep in conversation with potentially a partner? That makes a difference. Um, did you look approachable or did you look like they'd be interrupting you? So when you go out, look approachable there. Now here's my thing on dating sites for everyone, but mostly women. There are a lot of, um, and you can th there I've, I've watched videos on X FBI, CIA and p detectives who talk about this all the time, but I've, known this prior to the videos. I've been saying this forever. There are a lot of predators on dating sites and they know exactly what keywords to look for in, you know, women, when we get on a dating site, we want to sound like we are kind and loving and butterflies and spiritual and blah, blah, blah. We want to sound like all of the things nurturing like you know we want to fit the description of the woman and most of us are okay that that is just a given um but all of those things and depending on how you phrase it how accommodating you can be are definite signs for somebody who's looking for someone to possibly manipulate or catfish or to whatever so for me, when it comes to dating sites and many detectives and agents have said dating sites are a very easy and fast way, 
along with some social media and the messaging in social media for a predator, whether they be a narcissist, just a toxic person, or somebody more icky, like more predatory with illegal predatory stuff going on, to get all of your information and assess you very quickly to find out so much about you and to jump into that role of kind of knowing who you are and knowing what to say and how to you okay yep i said you suck you in i'm gonna you in just like that before you even know it you're gonna be like oh my god he's so oh my god he just knew oh my god we have so much oh my god no no child no mm -mm. that's why i tell every girly i know dating sites whether it's just a player somebody who knows what to say to just you know get that first whatever or a narcissist or just a psychopath a sociopath a serial fill in the blank no girl no no okay um just be safe meet somebody natural where you can look in their eyes they don't have your whole history they're not scrolling your facebook to see what you do with other people they're not looking at any of that they don't know anything about you and you can assess their energy right there in front of you meet people naturally and if it takes a little longer who cares it's always better to meet someone who doesn't have a higher, like a, a what is that called? A, a, a An agenda for you. I'll just use that word. So please, um, for my girlies and my guys, for guys, you know, there are so many catfish, catfishers and scammers and uh, men pretending to be women. I'm not talking about the whole tg transgender don't come at me for that i'm not even talking about that i'm just talking about people who um i mm, um i'm just talking about people who are just in general scammers and know how to work people and women there's a lot of scammers on the sites too for women so please just be careful and i know a lot of you already know this but for those of you who don't uh please be very careful out there but joy uh i feel like it is organic i feel like it is um you are going to meet someone i do feel like there is water near where you meet this person or where you go on a date so if you meet somebody organically and it's there's not water there at some you might have a date or a get together where there is but i think you meet them there and i also feel like there are like vendors there there are like vendors like you know how on a holiday if you sometimes if you live near a lake on a holiday like i'm just going to use a fourth of july for example if you go near a lake there's all the trucks all the food trucks with cutting candy and snow cones and tacos mm but this also has like people who have like other things so like a expo or whatever whatever it is so keep that in mind okay joy okay da, 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 da. down with the sickness yes heather from the beginning yes 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 um <clears throat> hey matt how are you Uh, hey, Matt, we're just answer. I'm just answering questions. I'm just answering questions, loving you guys as much as I can. Uh, okay, I'm through all of that. I have to move down. I have to move down. It's perfect French speaking, Tony. Chacouterie. <laughs> Genevieve, thank you. Is that French? <laughs> that is how uncultured this child is i didn't know chicoterie chicoterie <laughs> <is French. laughs> 
cheese and salami. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Please, I just, you know, I, I love making people laugh. I love making myself laugh. Uh, life is way too much sometimes, and we just have to, we have to laugh at everything, everything that we can. Now that Heather told me the name of that song is Down With The Sickness, now that's all I can hear in my head. <laughs> okay, here's a really good question. And I'm sorry I can't pronounce your name correctly, Noir or Noir. Uh, did I need Amen to help me grow spiritually, to balance his low energy vibrations? Okay, yes and no. To help you grow, yes. Every relationship we have, whether it's with family, friends, whatever it is, is to help us grow in love with ourselves more. Anything that takes us away from self-love, self-respect, is something we are to uh, uh, separate from. And then if it cannot come back to self-growth, we have to stay away from it, okay? Every relationship is an opportunity to grow and learn in love for self. So if you're in a relationship where you're constantly, <laughs> oh, the light bulbs are just popping off in my head, folks, where you're constantly trying to do for the other person, fix the other person, heal the other person, whether this is family, friends, or a partner, even at work, um, that's that's a and they're not giving back and they're not rising up. If if you're doing and they're just staying because this is where they are, and most people are very very comfortable where they are. Okay, if they're not saying, "I need this and I'm seeking help for it," it's not our job to jump in or on that. Okay. Um, but the, the goal is if somebody is not that person that is an equal flow for us to be able to walk away with love and respect and move on to something new. It is not our purpose as a partner to fix something or someone that does not want to be fixed, believe they are broken, are happy where they are. Okay, that, that just leads us, that depletes us and leads us into frustration. And then afterwards, anger and being very upset because we feel like we gave so much and this person didn't appreciate it. They never asked for it, they're fine. They, they just are like, I'm good. I'm good. I love my life the way it is. Even if they complain about their life, they are, are good because they are not personally seeking to professional or they're not seeking that help to get them where they should be. Okay, you guys, I'm here every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m.